What's up, App Nation? My name is Kripesh Advani, and today I am going to take over this channel. So, first of all, thanks to Steve for inviting me on this channel. It's my it's a pleasure to be here. And before I start, let me give you a quick intro about me. Who am I? What the heck am I doing here? So, my name is Kripesh Advani. I create apps. I program apps. I market them. I also do blogging. And these days, I am also into YouTube. and i have a small offshore team that help me whenever required so today's topic is how you can save your app from suspension actually i am creating apps since 2015 and i also have a youtube channel where i discuss about apps app policies and i have a facebook group that is dedicated towards solving those problems you know app suspension app rejections uh, so based on that experience i am going to create this video and give you all some tips which can help you save from suspension so before i get started let's understand the three terms first first one is removal app removal app rejection and app suspension app removal is when your app is not following any policy uh, in that case google will remove your app from play store in this case you don't have to worry about anything you just have to resolve that thing and google will republish your app you just have to submit an update second is app rejection app rejection happens when you submit an update and that is rejected by google now again there is nothing to worry worry about this you just have to submit the valid update and your app will be accepted and the third one is app suspension now this is where you have to worry app suspension is when you have violated any major policies here google play will will suspend your app and you will it will count as a strike now if you receive too many strikes then your play store developer account will be suspended and you will not be allowed to create any new developer accounts so now let's understand the points that can get your app suspended the first point is using of copyrighted content if you are using copyrighted images if you are using copyrighted soundtrack or copyrighted content text content in your app then google play may suspend the app for example you have created an app that downloads movies that downloads songs so that's illegal that's a copyrighted content you are talking about so that's not allowed and i know that there are a lot of apps that are currently in the gray area so you should generally avoid that gray area you never know google may suspend your app or may not just avoid that gray area second important point is using of trademark names for example i cannot use a trademark name in my app title or app description uh, at least i cannot use it in that way that i own that particular trademark i should not use it in that way for example uh, let's suppose i have created a photo editor and i named it instagram photo editor now that's the wrong way to name it i cannot use the word trademark name instagram in front of my app i will use photo editor for instagram i have created an app for uh, let's say pubg and i have named it named it pubg guide now i cannot use that name since i am using a trademark word pubg what i can use is i can use guide for pubg that's the correct way to name it so use the names properly don't use trademark terms avoid them in app title or app uh, short description you should avoid them there third one is using of web view now if you are using web view in your app and that's all what your app is just a web view then google may suspend that app and if you are using a web view make sure that you add some value over that web view means it should not look like website you should be adding some special value so don't use just plain web views now fourth point is using of adult content now that point is self explanatory if you are using anything adult content if anything is related to adult content then your app will be suspended for example you are showing some 18 plus videos and 18 plus images then your app may get suspended from play store fifth is content rating now if you haven't used the correct content rating for your app then google play may suspend it in majority of the cases they may reject it or they may remove your app from play store but in some cases they may suspend also so make sure that your content rating is right is to the point if you are using ads if you are showing 18 plus ads then make a proper content rating for that sixth is you should be using royalty free images now i have explained in copyrighted content point that you should not be using copyrighted material what you can use is royalty free images you cannot use images that you have downloaded from 
Google. What you have to do is you have to search images, royalty free images on websites like Unsplash, Pixabay, Pixels. You can use that website to gather some free royalty free images and use that for your app, for your feature graphic, for your app icon. You can use that images, but you cannot use any image that you download from Google. That is that may give your app a suspension. Seventh point is misleading names. Your app should do what it states. For example, if you have created an app regarding, uh, let's say meditation, then it should be regarding meditation only. It should not be about running, about other sports, about gymming. The primary focus of the app should be meditation. So decide your name, decide your app description uh, correctly and don't try to mislead users it may negatively impact you on ratings on reviews and it may also suspend your app so better avoid them eighth point is spamming if you are using repetitive keywords in your metadata if you are spamming through reviews if you are asking someone for reviews and you are using a particular keyword to boost your rankings then also google may suspend your app you have to take care that you don't overdo it don't spam it because it's against the policies so you should avoid it ninth one is repetitive content repetitive content basically means that the days of reskinning apps are over you cannot use the same app and just change the skin without changing any functionality or content and use it again so that's not allowed now on google play store uh, you may see some apps that are old you may see that app still on play store but if you do it now then the google play may suspend your app and i am telling this from my personal experience my one app got suspended even though the content was different and there was enough changes in the design also but still that got uh, somehow that somehow got suspended due to repetitive content policy and they didn't accept my appeal so be make sure that you have significant changes in content in functionality in color scheme in design in ui so 10th and last point is offering incentives you cannot offer an incentive to a user for a review or a rating say for example i will give you 10 coins if you leave a five star review on my app so that's not allowed you cannot do that if you do then your app may get suspended so don't offer incentive for reviews or ratings for your app now if you have stayed till here you deserve a bonus point and that bonus point is hidden manipulation uh, let's say if i have created a mobile app i have asked user permission for sms for phone diary and user have given me that permission and now i am using that permission to make a background call and user are getting charged for it then it's not allowed it's not permissible i cannot send a message i cannot do a phone call without a permission from a user that should be avoided at all costs so nothing should be done in background for example even if you are recording a call if you have seen voice call recorder apps this show a notification at top that they are recording they don't do it on the background so you have to show the notification as per the guidelines to the user that you are doing this this particular thing and nothing should be done in the background so these are some major points that may get your app suspended and if you still have some questions do check out our facebook group join that group people we have a very good community over there people usually help each other out in these cases you can read why other people apps are getting suspended you can see why apps are getting rejected what trends what trends are currently going on you can learn a lot from that group alone so make sure you join that group and if you know hindi then you should also subscribe to my channel i regularly post content like this and if you don't know hindi then do follow me on instagram we can talk over there we can do some live sessions over there so i am looking forward to see you on instagram on youtube or on facebook also so that will be all for this one if you have liked the video do hit the like button show some love in the comment section so i can come back and hijack this channel again so that will be all for this one i hope that you have learned something valuable from this one so until next time goodbye and keep learning click the top video to check out capricious awesome youtube channel and click the bottom video if you want to learn how to grow downloads for google play using aso don't forget to hit subscribe. Peace out.